following a Nissan yep. Leaf right now. Or we're gonna rear end a Nissan Leaf. Hi, I'm Katie Fernbacher with the Green Overdrive Show, and we're here at the LA Auto Show in front of Mercedes Fuel Cell Car. And I'm here with Arvid Nistroy, and uh, he's with Daimler. And uh, I have a big question for you guys. Why, when all the car companies are kind of going for electric and plug-in hybrid vehicles, are you guys looking to produce this fuel cell? Yeah. Mercedes-Benz is introducing this fuel cell car uh, this year here in California. And of course, the fuel cell car is also a fully electric car. It has zero emissions, like you would expect from a battery electric car. The big difference and the big advantage for customers is on the first hand that this car has a range which is much higher than you would get with a battery electric car. It's up to 240 miles if you look at the European certification and translate this into miles. And the second major advantage, you can fuel it within three minutes. So if you go to a hydrogen gas station, you just put on the hose like you would do with your conventional car. After three minutes, you're good to go for another 240 miles. Are you guys worried about the infrastructure for um, charging these cars with hydrogen? The infrastructure is, of course, a challenge that has to grow as the number of vehicles grows in the, in the future. We are in the lucky situation that California is really at the forefront of doing this with the zero emission regulation that we see here in California and the support by the state. It's really, there's really some movement going on, so we expect additional stations to be put up this year in the greater LA area. Again, additional stations next year in spring, so California is really at the forefront. How much is this going to cost? We are offering it this year as a, as a rental model, so it's possible to rent the vehicle on a rate of 859 US dollars per month and up to 36 months. Since we just do 200, as I just explained before, of course there's no real purchase value, purchase price. So you can rent it and this rent also includes the hydrogen gas. So it's a full package, normally incurring costs like service and everything is included and also the hydrogen gas. So we've already got a chance to talk to Mercedes about their fuel cell vehicle. Today we want to take it for a test drive and see how it really feels driving around the roads of Los Angeles. It's, uh, I just drove the Mini E before that too and the, uh, there's a pause kind of in the acceleration so this is a, a lot quicker drive like you just press the car and it just keeps going, goes super fast. Can you tell me about this, uh, this the display, what's it saying? This place is pretty much as an energy flow. It shows you the, um, between the battery and the fuel cell how the energy is flowing. Um, it's similar like as a hybrid mm -hmm. because in on low speed so we will use the energy of the battery and at a higher speed is then the fuel cells will kick in and support us the acceleration and everything. <clears throat> so is there any regen? Yes. It it's just it's very slight. Yeah. Yeah. It's not uh, half as much as the mini E. Already oh, and we're gonna get arrested on video. The gauges are pretty much as from hybrid vehicle. Mm -hmm. the, the the green, red, as white, as it's uh, uh, kind of from zero to hundred percent. And if you go on a throttle all the way to the you know floor, then you will feel a kick down as a little bit resistance, and then it's like kick down. You will get hundred percent as a, which is involving as a like fuel cell energy plus the. So if I go really fast. Yeah. There it goes. Yeah. I completely floored it, and it didn't pick up that fast. But so it, when it, when you say kick down, what do you mean by that? Yeah, that's as a pretty much as a it's standard for Mercedes. But in our case, as a, you will get as a, the energy from the battery and the fuel cell. So you're getting as a oh, first one fuel okay. cell the whole time. But when you push this kick down button, then it's supporting as the battery it's supporting the acceleration. So you're getting as a hundred percent. Okay. Of, so that was like yeah. maximum. Performance. And you're getting 136, 130 horsepower. So. Oh, okay. It does just drive like a regular car. I mean, it feels no different even though it's a fuel cell. I mean, it feels like one of the electric cars we've driven or one of the, just the standard car. Um, I mean, I know it's kind of in the, this isn't large commercial productions, but it doesn't feel like a prototype at all. 